I mean, I guess because this is the first album, there's more, like, there's more pressure, maybe. There's a moment when I hear the song for the first time. And then there's a moment where I play the song for the first time. And they're two very different things. I mean, I'm worried about it, you know? I'm worried about, you know, failing. How are you doing? Hello. Hey, it's John. How you doing? How good are you? Good to see you, good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you. First and foremost, each generation brings something to the table. You're going to be confronted with a lot of keyboard players who are really playing, like McCoy Tyner, um, yeah. George Burden, yeah. you want to be connected to the instrument. Yeah. In order to connect with that instrument, you have to give it some time. If this one doesn't work out, I go back and I do it again. Go back to the drawing board because first of all, in other words, let me tell you, if this project fails, it should make you stronger. How often do you practice? Well, um, I mean, I... Um And that's why I thought it would be funny to make a jazz album. The guys who were playing alongside me were good, and you can hear that. This is probably the first time I played with someone who couldn't play jazz at all. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it when I first heard about it. I don't get it now. I mean, maybe he's a visionary. I don't know. But, you know, it was, it was thoroughly horrible. I definitely achieved what I was going for. In hindsight, I don't think it's um, the best idea in the world. 